My name is Denise Hurley, and I want to welcome you, welcome you to another uh, episode of Harmonies. And we're on location here at the uh, College Church of the Seven Day Adventist here in Lancaster. And I am with Andrew Sharanian. I knew I was going to do that. <laughs> so. Uh, Andrew is the organist here at the College Church, and we are delighted that we were able to uh, get a chance to listen to your music. It's amazing, Thank you. amazing with the organ here that uh, that he plays every uh, weekend. Every, every Saturday, most Saturdays. Most Saturdays. Okay. Um, okay, first of all, uh, I'd like to talk about who you are and what your background is. Could you tell us something about who you are? Um, my name's Andrew. Um, I was born in Salt Lake City, Utah, um, and moved to Boston to go to music school at New England, New England Conservatory in Boston. Okay. Um, and while I was in, there in Boston, I started started getting involved in church music. Um, I had my first couple of church, little church jobs while I was a student in Boston, first in Somerville and then in Dorchester. And then when I graduated from the conservatory, I did my master's degree at Yale University, which has a wonderful music school and incredible organs. And, um, and most notably, there's a really special organ in Woolsey Hall at Yale University, and that's where all of the organ recitals are. Okay. Um, that was a lot of fun. So you, is that where you cut your teeth, so to speak? Cut my teeth. Also had a church job when I was a student in New Haven at, okay. at a church called Christ Church, with, which had a professional choir and a beautiful organ. So I got to, got to spend a lot of my time in graduate school also playing the organ at church and at school. Okay. Um, and then when I was done with my master's degree, I got my first uh, full-time church job working in an Episcopal church in Rye, New York. And I worked there for seven years, directed the choir, played the organ, um, and just le led the entire music, music staff. Uh, and then in 2010, I moved back to Boston um, mm -hmm. to take a job as music director of All Saints Church in Ashmont, in, Dor in the Dorchester Ooh, okay. neighborhood of Boston, where I'm still the music director there. I direct the choir. Um, the church has a very famous boys' choir. Okay. So I, I recruit and train the boys in the choir and then rehearse the adults who sing with them on Sundays. Wow. And the choir, the choir sings at the, the Sunday mass at that church during the school year. Right. And on Saturdays I play here at the mm -hmm. college church. Um, I also play at a Roman Catholic church in Chestnut Hill for their Saturday, Saturday 4 o'clock mass. Um, I have a Bach ensemble that specializes in the music, <coughs> music of Johann Sebastian Bach um, that performs several times a year in Dorchester and other locations ar around Boston. Um, I have a couple of organ students. Um, <laughs> you stay busy. I stay very busy. I stay very busy. I, I get, I'm sometimes lucky enough to get asked to do guest conducting gigs with, with other choirs. I love to accompany on the organ mm -hmm. as well as performing solo, so I often very often on Sunday afternoons, I'm um, accompanying a, a, a choir at another church. Okay. Um, and I, but I also love to play piano, especially jazz piano. And, I knew it. I <laughs> knew it. <laughs> and I and my partner is a my partner is a really incredible jazz vocalist, and we perform together as well. So in shows, in cabarets, in piano bars, uh -huh. and that kind of thing. So most week, most weeks, I have four or five performances um, that I that I am involved with. So I have, I live a very rich musical life, and sure. I'm I'm really grateful for it. Oh my God, that's amazing. amazing.
Okay, so uh, musically, you, I, I would assume living in Utah, that's where you got your interest in music and the church and all of that. Yeah, my, my family my family's Mormon, the big surprise being, being from Utah. Right. Um, and the, one of the most famous organs in the country is at the Mormon Tabernacle. Um, where the Mormon Tabernacle Choir has their broadcasts from. And uh, growing up, um, you know, that organ played such a prominent role in my life. Mm -hmm. And I knew, I knew from a very young age that I wanted to be an organist. Probably seven or eight years old, I had no doubt that that's what I wanted to do. Um, the organ was always, always really fascinating to me. And so I took piano lessons, but only... <laughs> On, on the understanding that once my legs were long enough, I would be able to switch over to the <laughs> organ. <laughs> okay. And by, I'm lucky. My, father's, my father is a professional musician. Okay. He's a, a professional violinist and vocalist. And, um, and so he was, he was able to determine the right time that it was, that when the time was right for me to for move you. from piano to organ. Sure. sure. Um, and so... He so, must be so proud. Oh, uh, and we, it's really, we're really fortunate because we get to perform together. We've, oh, nice. we've, we've performed several times, a handful of times throughout mm -hmm. the years. Um, we, most notably, last time we performed at Methuen Memorial Music Hall, if you okay. know about that venue. In Methuen, there's a beautiful, big venue with a beautiful pipe organ. And so we did a joint concert there where we did music for violin and organ, voice and organ, mm -hmm. and organ solo. Um, and so it's really, it's a great joy to get to make music with my, with my father. Oh, I bet. It's really fun when we get that chance. I'd like to ask you a little bit about this work and the history and, you know, how's it work? <laughs> this, this organ is really special. Um, I believe it was put in in the late 90s. Okay. Um, and it's by, it was built in England uh, by, it's an English organ. English, okay. It, it, uh, called the, it's the Walker Organ Company. And they built this organ in England and then disassembled it and shipped it over here and then reassembled it in the church. Um, this pipe organs fall into two different camps. Mm -hmm. there, are, there are organs that are built in a historical style right. with a mechanical action, like a piano has a, a mechanical action from the key to the, to the string. And the same, the same thing can be said of this instrument, that, that 
the connection between the keys and the pedals is mechanical. Okay. And so when, when the organ, organist presses down a key, there's a series of levers and pulleys that go through the inside of the instrument and find the pipe, uh, the, the appropriate pipe, and it's actually the power of your finger that opens up the valve okay. and lets the air into the pipe. On um, bigger, more modern organs, that connection is electro-pneumatic. And, and so it's a little less personal. Sure. Uh, but this organ, this organ is small enough and historic enough that the connection is all mechanical. So organists call this kind of organ a tracker. Because the, 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 those things that take the action from the key to the pipe are called trackers. Right, okay. And so uh, that's, the, that's the slang term for this kind of organ, it's a tracker. And this, this church, as far as I've been told by members of this church, this organ was meant to be temporary. And they, were, they, were, they had originally intended to build a much larger instrument that would have filled that entire space back yeah. there between, between those um, brick pillars sure. and in the back. But I think when they, when they installed it, they realized that this little organ packed such a punch that it didn't need to be temporary. Right. <laughs> um, it's uh, it's a, on, on the small side um, as instruments go, but it's very, very potent and does the job, leads the singing here beautifully, plays organ repertoire really well. Um, and, they, and the church maintains it, it keeps it in very nice condition.
So you play out a whole lot, a lot of different places. Uh, uh, can people find you at these different venues to come and listen to you if they wanted of to? Of course. Um, I, the, the, the next big performance we're having in Boston with the Bach Ensemble that I work with is on March 10th. Okay. Uh, March 10th, it's uh, in the Ashmont Hill Chamber Music Series. And if, if people look up Ashmont Hill Chamber Music, they'll find information about the March 10th concert. Okay. Um, and I'm also, you can also find me on, on all social media under my name, Andrew Sheranian, and I always post I always post about all my performances on my social media as well. Okay, and then the the choir. Just I'm interested. You you work with the kids of the neighborhood, the youth, is yes. that? And you bring them in to learn about you know how to play an organ, classical music, how to read music, how, how to, to sing, how to sing. That's so good. That's so good. Um, and and you have a lot of interest in that. There, there is, there is some for sure, uh, because it's the, the the because it's a boys' choir. Sure. It's a little harder than if it was boys and girls, to, boy, or just girls. Girls right. seem to be a little more naturally inclined to sing um, <laughs> than boys. Um, but um, but yes, we're doing we're we we we're constantly spreading the word sure. about about openings. If anyone knows any any kids in Dorchester who are looking for something to do musically, look me up. Sure. Um, sure. It's a free program, and actually, the church has a long history of paying the kids to sing yeah. in the choir. Okay. So they receive a small stipend for their work as well. Very nice. Which is great. It's so interesting you say that because I'm from Dorchester. Oh, really? Yeah, I agree. It's what neighborhood? Uh, Lower Mills. Oh, wow, right down the road from yeah. Ashmont. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I think I went to that church. Yeah, it's, right, it's, the, it's that big stone church right, right on Ashmont Street, right around from the T stop. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, I did. That's amazing. Yeah, what a small world. <laughs> it is. Yeah. It is. Well, well, sir, I want to thank you, Andrew so much for thank letting you, us come, come here and uh, speak with you and thank you for your interest oh absolutely and listening to that amazing music so thank and you. we will spread the word of your music and what you're doing um, for youth and all of that so so again thank you for thank meeting you. with us and uh, have fun with the rest of your uh, music life. <laughs> thank you. Thanks so much. It's been a real pleasure. Okay. Thank you. Take care. All right. And there you go. This is Harmonies. I'm Denise Hurley. Thank you for tuning in. Bye.